Hi, I'm Victoria Ballou, and here's your sun sign horoscope for the week of October 23rd through October 29th, aided by your tarot ruling card. The combination of these two powerful energies brings your likely path into focus and guides you on how to successfully deal with the challenges. Click the subscribe button to know the minute my new forecasts are out, and subscribe to my online magazine, Astrologic, for more insight on astrology, tarot, dream analysis, and, not, and a whole lot more. Now, before we begin, here's your metaphysical hack for this week. Match the frequency of the reality you want by wearing or using something you have which you treasure. You know, something you keep packed away for a special day Maybe it's super expensive or rare or just very special to you. Well, get it out and wear it or use it. And think, feel, and be who you've always dreamed of being. Own that energy. The aura of that energy created around you from that simple hack will propel you into that realm. The idea, of course, is to hold on to that feeling permanently, but if you can't, at least this action will make you familiar with what that realm feels like, and you will be able to access it easily and more frequently until you do indeed live it. Let me know if you try this and tell me how it felt. I'm really curious. Okay, now let's get to what's ahead for you this week. Scorpio season has arrived, and so have the eclipses. Everything is shifting energetically as Saturn stations direct, and both the Sun and Venus enter Scorpio. Then, as if all of that wasn't enough, we will have a solar eclipse on October 25th, the day of the new moon, and it's going to be intense for all of us. So, get ready, and let's see how to navigate it. Aries, this planetary shakeup will cause you to see things very clearly this week. Choices you made several months ago may not measure up to your revised outlook now. That's okay, because you have the Emperor as your tarot ruling card, the dynamic, natural gift you have for making sound, solid decisions help you sort through where you are and where you want to go. Whether it's a money matter or something centered on a relationship, this is the week to correct anything you see off course. Trust that inner voice of yours. It will steer you in the right direction. Taurus, this is going to be a very interesting week for you. It will begin with things being dislodged in your life, discombobulated, but don't worry because it will end up with setting a new and perhaps unexpected course. And with the Hierophant as your ruling tarot card, you are more than capable of handling the disruption and establishing a new or retooled path. The key word for you is clarification in all things, relationships, business, and your home life. If something needs to wrap up, then do it. Or it might be something new and wonderful is ready to begin. Embrace it. Okay, Gemini, you're going to be walking a bit of a tightrope tight this week as far as your business relationships go. There is definitely a risk of getting involved in trivial matters. Try to avoid them because they're not worth your time. But with the lovers as your tarot ruling card, you intuitively lean toward trying to help others make peace. It's really not going to pay off for you this week. Instead, focus on completing those necessary things you've put off. Ignore the chatter and bring your attention back to where it belongs. You will be so glad you did. Cancer, this week could show you something you did not expect. And while the result may be opposite of what you were hoping for, you will understand why it was exactly what needed to happen. 
And with the chariot as your tarot ruling card, you have that innate ability to pause long enough to recognize this was for the best. Keep your focus on nurturing your home life. Business um, and relationships are certainly important, but don't let them stress you out. Pull back into your safety zone at home to regroup. When you feel ready, then venture out again. Leo, the solar eclipse this week is going to bring up some stark truths to the surface for you, specifically those illusions and daydreams you've let play out too long. But with strength as your tarot ruling card, you have the built-in superpower of pulling yourself together when you need to. It's time to get really serious about what you're willing to do, and it may not be easy. So don't struggle if you're feeling upset or angry about something. Let it out. Once you move past the emotional release, then you'll be able to focus on specific issues and make the necessary adjustments. Virgo. This is going to be a tricky week for you as far as friendships go. The solar eclipse will bring a lot of emotion to the surface and tempers will flare. If you're not careful, you could end up in the middle of at least one pointless argument. I'm talking about people saying things they later regret. But remember, you have the hermit as your tarot ruling card. And while you have that center point of wisdom you could share with others as a mediator, please resist that temptation. Withdraw from any heated exchanges and wait for cooler heads to prevail. Libra, there's a lot of potential for you this week to resolve your money and financial situation. Your planetary alignment, along with the eclipse, will highlight the necessity of finding answers to any problems in this area. Some abrupt swings could take place, giving you both high and low moments. But with justice as your tarot ruling card, you have the natural gift of finding balance quickly. Lean into this. You are going to need it. Be open to examining new paths which could offer solutions and embrace abiding energy of abundance in your life. Scorpio, the new moon this week happening in tandem with a solar eclipse has the potential to feel overwhelming to you. So take extra care of yourself the next few days. All of this energy could sap you of some life force and leave you anxious and exhausted. Just remember, you have death as your tarot ruling card. This means knowing one cycle will always wrap up to allow the beginning of a new one. Keep that in mind as you hunker down at home. Focusing on your health and well-being now will keep your resources strong and ready when these planetary influences shift. Sagittarius. You're ready to take a break from the hectic pace this week, but it may not be so easy to do. The solar eclipse is going to pinch some emotional points for you, but you can be prepared for it. And with temperance as your ruling tarot card, you have a stronger ability than most to put any roller coaster feelings into perspective. You'll find solace just staying at home and trying to avoid any overly dramatic social activity. If you do see yourself getting reeled into something that feels overwhelming, gracefully pull back the way you know how and wait for the energy to shift. Capricorn, as usual, you're in charge this week and this solar eclipse has really fired you up. Parties and social activities are definitely in your future. Just remember, everyone always looks to you for the answers, so be prepared to take the lead, even when you feel like cutting loose. But with the devil as your tarot ruling card, you are very adept at knowing when to hit the pause button on the partying and get serious for a moment. This gift can save you and your friends from getting too far out on the edge. 
be sure to keep an eye on this aspect of your nature and not let it go the other way. All right, Aquarius. The solar eclipse is bringing a huge shift in your business life this week. You know you're ready for a challenge or maybe a change, and the time has now arrived. With the star as your ruling tarot card, you have the extra special ability to gain a crystal clear perspective on any situation, and you always shine when you're feeling good. Both of those natural gifts are coming in to help you in a major way this week. It's important to decide what you're going after. Be careful in making your choice, but then go for it and don't look back. Pisces, you're gaining some major insight this week, and it looks like you could reconnect with someone from your past who has been a great influence on you. This could affect not only your current career, but um, could set you on a new course for an even greater one. With the moon as your tarot ruling card, you have an exceptional ability to dive below the surface of any situation, to understand it on a deeper level. Lean into this gift and also recognize any illusions you may have about something and turn them loose. Working with this energy will propel you to a new, exciting place. Wow, what a week we're all going to have. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. Have a fabulous week and work with your ruling tarot energies. They will always help you and guide you. Thank you for joining me.